All right, so I'm not sure how long this video is going to be up here. They're going to probably take it down. I'll probably get a strike for this. Either way, I need to present this. Uh, saw this morning one of the most blasphemous things uh, that I've seen. As you know, Saturday Night Live uh, is just one of the most unfunny programs. It uh, used to be somewhat funny, I guess, if you live in the world and you like that kind of thing. Now it's nothing more these days than a left-leaning, satanic, political, God-bashing pile of steaming dung. And I hope you really feel what I'm trying to say coming through here. But the episode they did last night included a skit that was so blasphemous and vile that one can hardly imagine that they would have seen it in their lifetime. Uh, the person, I'm not sure who the host is, it doesn't matter, but he's portraying the latest worthless, talentless, Satanist Lil Nas X, uh, who's a flaming, godless homosexual, uh, has a very popular video out right now where he descends into hell and gives Satan a lap dance. And the premise of the skit, as though it matters, uh, involves evening things out, so they bring this person... Uh, who is representing, you know, the image of God. And, of course, this talentless Satanist lap dances God. And it's all just funny, right? In the book of Jude, chapter 1, never, I, I think this is one of the best examples of truly what's happening, starting in verse 17. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you that there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Is there ever uh, a better definition than what you're seeing right now? These be they who separate themselves sensual, not have, or having not the spirit. Unbelievable. Making sure that we're aware of the garbage that is being brought forth. The outright blasphemy is incredible. Uh, much of you already know this, but it's important to see this so that you can remember we are in the midst of an outright holy war. The souls of men are on the line, and I pray that we're all doing everything that we can do to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. But as far as programs like this, recognizing the outrageous lack of everything that should be involved here. There is no talent. There are no jokes. There is no funny. It's all just a gigantic, satanic, poop-filled propaganda machine. And, and sorry for using that term. I guess some might be offended. But my goodness, I, I've never seen such a lack of anything resembling talent or comedy. And uh, somehow they keep this filth on the air and it gets worse every single week. So check this out while you can. I'll also post it on my Twitter, uh, but I don't expect this to stay up much longer because they own the media. So in the meantime, stand in the truth of Jesus Christ. Realize the time you're in and how serious this is. And let's share that gospel of Jesus Christ. Glory be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ in heaven.